Okay, I think that we are online right now. Uh, and I hope that this time there will, wouldn't be any drops. I'm sorry for any drops uh, before. And I will be starting the stream in uh, 30 seconds. Just let me uh, finish a few things here. And preparing. I have to prepare some things. Okay, thank you. So, today, I wanted to show you a few things uh, about virtual production that are really important, uh, especially for indie independent developers that doesn't have uh, too much uh, possibilities of doing uh, scans, rigging and character creations. Uh, one of the main tools that I'm using for my uh, for my uh, movie is a character creator. And this is a pretty incredible tool. Uh, that actually uh, lets you, uh, gives you a possibility to create uh, various riggable characters with all the all the things that are, uh, how to say, uh, that all the things that, that actually would require too much time. Uh, if you were working, uh, if you're working in character animation, you will know that uh, character animation is a pretty complex thing. So you 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 have to create your character, your three D character. You have to create uh, then to texturize that character. And then to create whole rigging process, and uh, all this process can be pretty long. It could take uh, even months to complete by one person. Uh, sometimes even you have to use uh, character uh, when you have to use some persons that are actually existing persons that you have also to scan them and then uh, retopologize and uh, then remake everything like like uh, in base of that character so for my movie I'm actually let's see here for my movie, I will be actually using. Uh, I have always already created some characters, but uh, as I had a request to uh, use uh, real characters, real actors for this movie, uh, I I have to make them to uh, be. Um, more or less uh, similar to to real characters that would actually uh, be in this movie. Uh, maybe it's an important thing to say that this movie, the idea of making this movie, uh, began from a fact that, uh, that at this moment, uh, the production that w wanted to make this movie couldn't 
make this movie in the real world with real actors, with real action, with real cars because of uh, COVID emergency. So a person uh, that had an idea for this movie asked me if I wanted to make uh, this uh, this as, a, as an animated movie. So from there, I have started uh, working on this movie and uh, I had some to tools that I'm using, like Character Creator, that would help me to make those characters uh, look like uh, real actors or... Yeah, like real actors uh, or or like uh, good animated animated characters. So, in this case, I will show you what can be done with Character Creator. Uh, that is a pretty simple tool. Pretty simple. It's not a simple tool, but it's uh, much more simple than uh, working with uh, with any other uh, 3D modeling software. So you have a base character on what you can, uh, where you can do any uh, some kind of modifications. And for example, one of the best tools uh, of Character Creator that is a separated plugin is a headshot uh, plugin uh, that practically uses in, uh, artificial intelligence to recreate head uh, to recreate a face from a single photograph. Uh, so how how it works? It it works like uh, you have to take one a nice uh, uh, good photo from a person. That means that it has to have enough resolution and that it has to have a pretty flat lightning. Uh, in this case, I will use a photo of, uh, of an actress Ivana, and uh, I will just for a moment that I have to find these photos, uh, and I will just add it to the system. Let's see where it is. Okay. So, uh, let's see what photo we can take here. Okay, we have these photos here of her. Some of are for my reference and some are uh, mostly for this will uh, I will use this photo for texturizing. So I'll take this photo and just drag and drop it here. Say that it's a female uh, that I want clean soft face and I will say generate. And this should generate in base of a lightning, in base of the characteristics of a face, it should generate practically her face, but it won't be a perfect face, so I will have to make some fine tuning and uh, just to match her uh, artistically, to match her 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 real face. This plugin on some faces really works very well. But some less, but it also depends uh, really much uh, about how many uh, 
how complex those phases are. So, you can see right now that from the front, she looks pretty, uh, pretty similar right, right now. And I can use this activate match, uh, match tools so that I can see what is going on here. So you can see this is a, her face and this is a photo. You can also see that probably there are some things that this algorithm can't uh, actually resolve because uh, we have a hair and we have some some facial features that aren't available there. But mostly, it works pretty well. Of course, you have to think that uh, you have always to understand that that a face without a hair, without uh, the same lightning, uh, wouldn't look uh, exactly the same. But today I will try to. Uh, make her look more or less the same. My main problem is that I didn't met this girl, so I I really don't understand, don't know her uh, real characteristics of her face, uh, of how she moves in a in a space and things like that. But it's a uh, So, what I would try to do here is just to move all those uh, points. And uh, one of the things that are really important uh, is that, for example, right now I have here a symmetrical axis. And this isn't always the case because uh, a real person isn't isn't symmetrical, absolutely symmetrical. So I will have to uh, to turn this off and just to try to bring her facial elements into something that that is more similar to this photo. So, uh, reproject photo. You can use always reproject photo. This means that you can reproject the, that photo when you have made some some modifications. Let's see what is. Uh And now I have to wait just a second for those modifications to be applied. Okay, so right now I can uh, turn off those matching tools and go into a profile. And try to fix some, uh, try to match her profile with this one. So I will be using here uh, open with uh, photos, okay. And then I'm using a, a tool that makes my. Uh, my windows semi-transparent so that I can uh, position it here like that and you can see that actually this tool made a pretty good pr uh, prediction it's not perfect 
But for example, you can see that uh, some arc of this face is a little bit different, but this can be fixed pretty pretty easily. So let's see if we can make this one a little bit uh, less okay more transparent and set it here you will see that we are almost there yeah let's let's resize it something like that and we can see that we have to uh, to put yeah probably to bring this part of a face a little bit in front and this one at the back yeah something like that and then uh, let's see if we can uh, just zo zoom a little bit here set it transparent and let's see to move it somewhere there. Okay, you can see that the nose isn't still a perfect nose. It doesn't follow, but this can be fixed easily. So let's let's try to okay to bring it a little bit down and to bring it a little bit in front. Then let's go here and bring this a little bit down. And also bring this a little bit down. So, the thing is that we have to try to match all uh, this side side of her face a little bit more. Okay. There are a few ways to do this. It's not uh, okay. Something like that. Of course, I'm not trying to do her perfectly because she doesn't have to be a perfect copy, but she has to have some. Uh, she has to be rec recognizable, let's say. As I've changed some things on the front, uh, in the front view, I will have also to make some modifications here. And then I will look only uh, on the images and try uh, to try to understand her real but also I think that it might help me to try to add some hair go think about. Uh, character creator is that you already have some hairs it doesn't feature too many hairs but uh, it features enough for doing some kind of uh, let's say let's see here uh, hair no template hair okay yeah I will use probably this bun yeah, something like that. And then I will try to modify this hair. You see that this hair right now is a uh, hair that is uh, almost blonde. But then you can go into our materials and uh, fix some issues, diffuse color. Yeah, so something like that.
Let's see here. But here, let's diffuse, have diffuse color to suit. Okay, these are things that are, that are mostly doing also in Unity, so it's not... Uh, you can see right now. Let's turn off this, and then I will try to fix some things. For example, right now we have here this ugly uh, element, and it's not really what we want. Let's go here and then uh, try to go into headshot and to elements that we are using. So let's see what can we do. No, this isn't that. Okay, I will add uh, right now a little bit of symmetrical because it's easier to to work with. Let's rotate it a little bit. So yeah, this should. And also. I think the important thing when you're doing this thing is to try to... as you can't match it perfectly. You won't be... You have to try to make it to look more natural possible. So it's... something like that. So if we look her face, yeah, uh, we should note the probably that he she has much longer uh, eyelashes. Let's go here and do some modifications, and also yeah. Let's compare to a photo. Yeah, so it's eight of a. Our head is a pretty normal. I'm still not sure if I want to use this hair. It would be. It would simplify me some things in the, in Unity. Or, or in animation, because if I'm if I'm using uh, hair that is made in a bun, uh, I don't have to animate all those uh, physics, and it, it it will look better. So, as I don't have too much time, I don't want to to use too much. Uh, power and too much things for animation. It can be done always, but uh, that would require another approach. So yeah, let's go here and let's see if we can. Yeah, I will try to see some other characteristics of her face. Yeah, something like that. I think that we are... I think that we are pretty close. Uh, then I will work a little bit on, on materials. A little bit more. But not at, at this moment. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think that she has a little bit those that is 
Yeah, something like that. Let's see. Yeah. All in all, really, Character Creator is an incredible tool for this kind of things because it really helps to to do some things in a fast way that otherwise would be in, impossible, really impossible. If you, if I had. Once I was uh, working a lot with uh, with uh, characters and character animations, and I remember that I had to spend days to 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 create meshes, to texturize them, and to to make everything work, especially in, in animation. This case, I don't have to to worry too much. At least uh, for a movie that I have to make in a few weeks, uh, I can have uh, uh, models that are completely done and uh, and production ready. Especially in, in Unity, because the uh, workflow with Unity is uh, pretty incredible, pretty pretty simple and incredible. So yes, uh, let's say let's see this. I would just have to fix a few things. Okay. Okay, let's try like that. Actor is good move. Yeah, most you have to drag here and to try to do those, those things. Then I will go here into my headshot. Uh, no, headshot, not headshot plugin, but I will go into my uh, let's see here, here, no, here, I don't want any more here. Uh, eyelash, okay, let's see. No, I don't want this one. A lash, okay. Here I can find some few A lashes that might be more. nicer for her. Okay, so right now that when I apply this a lash, I can see that this eye wasn't projected really well. So what I have to do is go back to Headshot plugin, select this uh, eyes morphs, activate Im image matching, okay, and then just. Zoom a little bit here and activate. Uh, no, oh my, okay. Uh, so let's see. Okay, we are re reprojecting, but I will have to do a little bit more about this. So let's see. Okay, you will see that I didn't ha have a perfect uh, matching for eyes. So I will just a little bit try to modify this 
parts of the eye. Just to match it a little bit more. As I said, not every uh, reproject photo and see what how it goes. Gaspunk, yes, uh, character creating automatic rigs it uh, for Unity. So uh, this is the uh, best thing about it because uh, I don't have to rig, I don't have to do anything. I will show you in a, in a, in a short. So let's see, this is... Uh, This is our person. Let's turn off matching tools. Okay. I will be at the end probably modifying this, for example, the hair, because I'm not sure if this hair can go well, but I will do something like that. And then I have already. Because in the first uh, scenes that I've made of this um, short, I had another girl, and I was using some default uh, content from the uh, f for the clothes and some others that that I had. I will be adding here, uh, for example, pants. Uh, yeah, let's see. I was using something like jeans for her, and it will add jeans. I will. I was using something like, co uh, let's say coats. Yeah, we have here a punk coat. Uh, no, uh, this doesn't go for me. So, okay, let's see here what we have for materials uh, for materials from 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 clothes. Uh, yeah, no, I don't like this. No, it's I, it's not that I don't like, but it doesn't work for me. I think that I'm missing some. Let's see. I think that I'm missing some. Uh, yeah, because I have reinstalled everything and I'm missing some uh, thing. Okay, let's put her shoes. But maybe we don't want that. I will take something that is more for this kind of a movie yeah something like that and then I will add uh, shirts okay yeah I was I was using this uh, okay this one and then a biker vest about this so this one could meet my requirements for for my movie or maybe I will use this yeah I will probably use this one for a character that I want so it's like something like that So from there, what have we? Uh, what I have to do? 
uh, Gaspang, okay. Uh, look at this one. Okay, so I will just have to say export FBX FBX X FBX. Okay, uh, Unity 3D and uh, s set this one. Uh, well. I have some uh, things that that I could use if I'm doing a game. Then I could use Instalod that will create a uh, few loads for Mesh. But as I'm working in uh, for a gaming in, uh, for uh, for a movie, I will be exporting in a uh, high quality. Yeah, yeah, it has a load system, so you can export multiple load systems. This is a separate plugin, so you have always to think that uh, there is a character creator three. Then there are uh, headshot is a separate plugin. Then we have uh, uh, how it's called uh, installed. Uh, that that is this one that serves for this. So at the end. But uh, at the end, it does cost something. It's not free, so. But it works really well, and it really uh, cuts your. It really cuts your production times. So it's incredible tool. If you if you are going to a triple A quality look, if you want to do that. So let's see here. Export this one. Export. Okay, this will export export everything. And I will say here. Uh, I'll find my project. Uh, documents. I will hide my. Sorry. Uh, okay. And then uh, in my project, I will uh, place it into CC assets. It, this is the plugin that is uh, that you can download from uh, Character Creator uh, Reillusion uh, site that integrates into Unity. So you can uh, just create new folder say here Ivana okay and place here uh, place place here uh, this character Ivana okay so I will just save it And a nice thing about this is that when you import it in, into Unity, it, uh, especially in uh, HDRP uh, workflow, it will completely uh, convert your materials into uh, HDRP materials with all the whistles and bells with those materials. I'm usually making some changes and I'll show you what I'm also doing. So, Unity, let's say here. Uh, yes, this is the project map. Just wait a second that I'm, I'm loading this project. Uh, yeah, I have a profit, uh, and I have uh, uh, Yamaha. How it's called? Uh, Modix. It's a. Uh, and then I have no. I I don't have anything by R.E.M. I have some Behringer X thirty two rack that is a thirty two channel mixer. And some other motorized. Oh, so, sorry. 
Yeah, some motorized faders and things like that, but it's like... Yeah. I was doing four years music and... Uh, I'm still doing some music, but it's mostly uh, non-professional thing. Like, it's my passion right now. Uh, well, my music is mostly done in uh, in Italian. So if you search, uh, I was write you here star stardom stardom. Uh, so Spotify. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> and what are you? Uh, yeah, Gaspank uh, says I'm a composer director as well. Your plugin Decker is less saver. Yeah, thank you. And uh, what kind of music are you doing? Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm just searching here your video for you. Wait a second. Uh, uh, okay. I'm sending you right now my one of my covers that we made a few years ago, but and it's uh, made uh, in virtual reality. So let's see. <laughs> Most electronic industrial and the music for games. Yeah, great, great. So let's see. Right now I have my uh, girl, no, Ivana. So if I drop her right now in the seed, each her should be already. Yeah, she is already done. Well, not completely, but you can see her here. But there are a few things that I have to uh, modify here. No, I don't think that I even have to modify. No, probably yes, I have. Let's see. I will create a new scene that I am using mo some kind of a scene that I'm that I like to create when I'm uh, trying out characters. So uh, let's see something like that. It's an empty scene. I place my character. This is a good trick for understanding how it can look or or to choose some some something more about materials. One of the things that are more most important when you are working is that you have to when you want to see some character, you have to look it with a, uh, with a bigger uh, with a smaller angle field of view because. Uh, it's like in photography, you, you will always use something like 50 or 85 millimeters for, for uh, doing uh, portraits. You won't be using uh, uh, any grand, uh, big ang uh, grand angle. 
you will see right now that I have here one of the pro only one uh, one of the smallest problems is that this is right now using skin uh, uh, my default uh, how it's called uh, uh, it doesn't use any diffusion profile so I already made one diffusion profile and I will uh, assign this one let's see if this is a good one yeah yeah I will assign this one the skin then I will have to assign to uh, yeah, let's see here and oh yeah I have to go onto every material here and to assign the skin this skin profile what are profiles I will explain you in the short it's a pretty uh, simple thing yeah let's see no this one skin no uh, I okay no skin diffusion profiles I'm oh, sorry I forgot that I renamed this. I have to assign this one skin diffusion profile. Then go here. Uh, sub -sub skin diffusion profile. And then change this one skin diffusion profile. Okay. And right now I will have also a subsurface scattering. Right now we have a light that goes behind, and this isn't something that I want. I will just delete this one. I will create uh, a new uh, rendering. Sorry, how it was called. This is K volume. Okay, global volume. And I will create new profile for rendering. This is a really important thing for for any. I was I was also covering this a uh, few days ago. So yeah, and. I will add here exposure mode fixed. I'm always using fixed. Uh, as I come from an analog uh, world, I started with a photography in uh, eighty nine. Uh, no, in eighty seven. I'm always. I'm always uh, like uh, I want to use uh, analog things. So nothing uh, automatically then I will add here some light and then uh, no, okay and you know of course I forgot here uh, rendering lighting settings I will uh, turn off any global uh, lighting I will also and override for this scene uh, for environment uh, how it's called uh, oh yeah and override sorry it was okay and vi visual environment type none okay ambient mode static okay let's say this and right now you will see that my exposure isn't correct, so I will turn this up, move this, uh, move this light a little bit off, like that, and also I will, yeah, I will enable shadow map, custom shadows, and you can see right now that we have here some pretty some effects of uh, 
of lighting. Uh, sub, sub, sub surface scattering. I'll duplicate this one, put it here, something like that. And then duplicate it and put it in the front. Something like that. So this is a, how to say, it's a classical uh, thing on how to illuminate people. You want some rim lighting, it's uh, from the back, and you want something from the front. It's a classical three, three light setup. So you're setting those lights like this and setting them here and then trying to... What I, what I want usually to do, and this is a pretty cool thing in, 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 uh, in Unity, new, in HDRP, that you can change the color of the light. So this will simulate a little bit. Their own lights have a white color, but they have a different uh, color correction. Also, I could say here area light. Because area light can give a pretty nice results, but in this case, I'm not sure. Ah, okay, it's probably too far away. No, it it isn't. No, why it doesn't work? I don't know. Uh, point. So I'm I'm always starting with a point light, even if this isn't the best way to start things. So, no, it is the best way to start things, but I'm not keeping them. So I will take this point light and decide what is my uh, intensity of this light. To move it a little bit there, to move it like this, and do anything that I need, actually. Uh, yeah, we have here high custom shadows, okay. Something like that. We'll put this resolution a little bit up. So what I wanted to say is that I'm setting this light. I'll bring it a little bit down. There's yeah, something like that. And I'm trying to colorize it a little, a little bit in the base of a real light. And right now you can see here that probably we don't have enough. Uh, yeah, and then uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I will add here some uh, plane behind something like that. Turn it around just to have a background. Just to see also how some shadows behave and things like that. Then I will... It just serves me for testing purposes. So it's like, okay, we have a character, let's see how it behaves in different situations. Uh, you will see right now that we don't have a really, uh, yeah, on global volume. I will add some uh, screen space reflection that I like to add always. Okay. But it doesn't show almost anything. Uh, ambient occlusion. This is a must, always. Let's select everything so that I can control everything. So, this uh, this global volume is an overrider. So it overrides things that are set in 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 other places. 
Usually you, you can set uh, all those settings by default in Unity, so this will override default settings. So yeah, this is, uh, this is it. Let's move it, okay. You will see right now that our eyes aren't what we want. So I will have to change her eyes. Yeah, uh, one question that you have asked me, Gus Punk, uh, it was if this is rigged. Yeah, it is completely rigged. So if I go here, uh, where it was? Okay, let's say base body blend shape. So I can. It's not only that it's rigged. It's also it also has uh, all possible uh, face uh, morphs. So this means that you can animate this character in a way that that is uh, so that she can speak and that she can do anything that you want. Yeah, yeah, you can animate it uh, via timeline and you can animate it with with any way that you want. Uh, maybe next time I will show you because I, I'm also using for character creator with uh, I, I clone. I'm using the application. Wait a second. If I can, uh, if I can show you the. Okay, I will switch here. Sorry, I'm not sure. If you can see this one, okay, this is a uh, live face application. So this one, let's see, okay, captures my face. And sends all the motion data to, uh, to iClone that is, uh, that is uh, integrated with Character Creator. And it can, uh, yeah, yeah, it sends iPhone facial rig. So I could eventually take do that data and bake, bake it and export it to Unity. And this is what I will be doing for my lip sync sim syncing. So yeah. Uh, and also, she is a completely right now. She is a completely correctly, uh, how to say, rigged. So I can move any. It's a structure that is compatible with with Unity, so I can move any bone, and uh, she will move. So it's you can see here. So. Any animation that goes into a, that works for Unity will wor work with her also. So the things that I'm all mostly changing that is probably important for anyone who does these things is that, uh, for example, I personally don't like how eyes are working, so I'm trying to. Uh, remap a little bit those reflections on the eyes but this can also be fixed with uh, with a little bit of reflection probe so mm, before starting really to to change materials, you have to create some uh, some objects like like cube here. You know, in the photography, we are mostly using uh, things like uh, lights, 
that have some okay let's create some, here some material material uh, self illumination okay something like that I will assign it here and then I will set its emission uh, and bring it up right now we can see it but if I create here one uh, new reflection probe that is under lights uh, reflection probe like this and set this uh, object to static this reflection probe I will set it to real time and it should take into account my box if I set it correctly why it doesn't work I'm not sure okay reflection probe okay let's say here center no Sometimes it. This is a reflection probe. So let's see. Okay, no, it does reflect. No, it doesn't reflect anything. I should see here a uh, reflection. Clear board. Okay background car no oh, background let's see if this works so oh, it's the ah uh, yeah i probably have deactivated reflection no i know every frame sorry 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 about that forgot to set, to set it here real time and every frame uh right now it should be uh no I'm not sure why it doesn't work right now. Sometimes it doesn't work. So I should see here reflection, but it doesn't work. Let's see. Baked. Let's try the baked settings. Ah, probably I didn't save this project. Let's say save project. No, save as even. Okay. Okay, you can see right now that it worked. So yeah. But in real time it doesn't work. I'm not sure why. Okay, baked it does work. So let's keep it like that. No, this is too much. Let's bring this uh, this light to something less and then generate lighting so that you can see right now that it generated some kind of uh, I like to call it uh, some kind of global lighting because also reflections, reflection probes are, are a kind of a global lighting. But also I have a problem that by default it makes this uh, environment like uh, in some color. Uh, it's, it's always blue, so I will turn it down. And then I will go here into my cube and set this em emission intensity to something bigger and generate lighting. Yeah. So you can see that it will generate some kind of, uh, of reflection. And right now I can see absolutely that my, uh, my eyes aren't what they should be. So I will go and uh, change a little bit Glossiness of, of my eyes. So 
I still didn't understand really well how this uh, those la uh, those eyes work. Uh, wait a second, probably uh, okay. Transparent, I have to say here. Transparent and set. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, I'm still. Sometimes I'm. I'm not sure what material is. Uh, what so? No, yeah, this one has to be cornea. But I still have th this kind of uh, opaque feeling on that. No, even uh, okay, probably. Let's try changing this. Yeah, I'm always trying to change those things and to play a little bit to understand what is going on. Uh, maybe we have uh, we have here tear line. Okay, maybe this is the word. No. Air jeans, strap on the way. Base eye. Okay, yeah. This base eye occlusion. This isn't one that I needed, actually. So. And then I will go here and try to just to change a little bit of uh, smoothing. Just to meet some, uh, how to say, needs for my character in, the, in that moment. Because sometimes you want maybe your character to be more, uh, more wet because she's having some action, so she she's sweating. And then you have, then you want to to have her differently. Then we have to change a little bit here uh, material for for her hair. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is under hair, so it's not important. Uh, and then we have here hair directly. So I will bring this little bit down so you can see I can change almost her color of her hair I will remember this smoothness and usually what I'm also doing I'm assigning then um, special shaders that I'm using for for um, uh, for a Deckard so yeah, then we have, yeah, I will have, but before doing everything like that, I will have also to change a little bit her. Skin leg, no wait, skin, uh, skin. Let's control only these things, few things here. Uh, body, skin, arm, okay, and then eyelash, okay, eyelash is, uh, it should be black, so I'm turning metallic on and smoothness, yeah, something like that, so that, that it looks how I want it. So let's see, yeah. This should look much better. Then I would actually use always for the eyes a little bit of uh, subsurface scattering. This isn't activated automatically. So I will have to uh, use uh, 
to activate sub subsurface scattering you have to say here subsurface scattering and then go into uh, profile set a profile that yeah something like that so at the moment it's Okay, I will have to check it later a little bit more. So for a moment, it should be fine. The only problem when you're dealing with these materials is that you can maybe have uh, many materials because this is divided into few sections. So we have, for example, a face. Uh, legs, uh, head, uh, yeah, head, uh, legs, then we have arms, and everything is separated. But they are, all those shaders are pretty nice. But you can also see, for example, here, that this shader, it requires a transparency, so... I will set here uh, to uh, alpha clipping, and right now I can set threshold, and this will be like that. Let's see, but let's see how it renders with Deckard, because with Deckard it should be much better. Because Deckard adds that, that kind of, uh, of a realistic feeling uh, let's add here decker render okay and now uh, we can set it to render to uh, to some of the bones so I will use here a spine no wait Upper clavicle, uh, spine, 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 spine. Wait a second. I am searching for a head, for a head bone. Okay. Spine, uh, upper arm, former, where it is. Okay. Waist spine of weight. Okay, yeah, this one should be okay. Neck twist, base head, okay. This will be as my focus point. Base head. I'm setting here in Deckard focus on this one. I'll set here also to. Uh, maybe it's. Facial, or maybe it's maybe it's better to set to an eye. Okay, yeah. So right now, it focuses on this one, and then I will set some better yeah, white balance. Yeah, something like that. It's still not perfect, so mm. and then what I want to do is to add here Deckard render uh, Decker soft light. And this will soften all my lights. And the card soft light. And also here. The card soft light. So as you can see here right now, down here, you can see all those 
ugly, dusty things, it should dis they should disappear. Right there. But it doesn't disappear. Why, uh, why it happens, I don't know. Mm. Okay, set it. I know, because probably they are coming from the uh, occlusion. No. Let's check those lights. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, I said, yeah, this one is a point light, but I don't want it to be a point light. It was just for uh, uh, for a purposes of setting it easier. I will set it to be a spotlight because when I find a position, then I can just turn it. Turn it around and set them to look at my character. Yeah, but I will have to fix here a few issues and I will be going back and forth between uh, character creator and uh, Let's see if we can do this one. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Then, then I will be working even more on this one. Yeah, one of the things that are good is like this coat mask. You can add uh, over a layer of uh, non smoothed thing. Like, okay, I want her skin to be smooth. And then I can add a coat mask that is uh, any like wet level over that. But this is a uh, this can be a pretty nice thing because uh, I could start my movie with her being completely dry, and then she, as as the time passes, she she she. She gets a little bit more, yeah. So the and probably I will, yeah. This cube. Let's see if I can turn it to right the off reflection probe. Yeah. So something like that. I will have to work on this even more. So. It's most about setting, ah yeah, also resolutions for this. For example, right now I have high, but I want an ultra high. So I want to, to fix a little bit, or maybe not. Yeah, something like that, medium, ultra. You have always, uh, what I'm always doing, I'm trying to tune things so that they look good. Some, uh, so you can go with values that are, that are universally good. Even if a PBR uh, thing gives you this possibility, but you always have to tune your lighting, tune your materials. And this also happens in the, in the movies, so it's like when you're doing something in a movie, you will always uh, try to uh, 
you try to make a makeup that goes well with a certain li lighting. So it's not that uh, it, this happens a lot. So you go on the, on the scene and then you you have a certain type of lighting. And you say, okay, I will try to uh, change that lighting just to make it a little more. Uh, I, I, I will change a makeup to make it work with the lighting. Or light, I will change a lighting to make it work with, uh, with the makeup. So it's uh, one way or the other. But uh, lighting is everything. Uh, it's f it comes from... Uh, uh, lenses it comes uh, it goes through uh, choosing lenses through choosing lights to choosing the color of lights to choosing uh, type of the uh, film to choosing uh, makeup so it's it's really important to to treat all those things in a certain manner. So yeah, this is a... Uh... So, right now I have this light that is uh, pretty strong, but if I turn it off, you get a completely different feeling. Uh, I will, for example, try, probably, to turn down intensity of this light yeah. and to see how it behaves because it can probably give me much more uh, yeah also it gives me much more information if my model right now is correct or if it isn't and now I could even understand better if if I have to make some uh, some modifications on, 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 on this model, so so I can take her and and and, and turn it on. So the usual workflow is like okay, let's try something that let's try a little bit of lighting and then see if i change that lighting if everything works as it should and then uh, go back and and and, and maybe change uh, change things and many times I will do such a, how to say, tricks like, okay, her eyes, uh, I can see her reflection, maybe I will make a, a shader that will give her some kind of reflection into, into her eyes, or maybe I will, yeah, okay, let's see this one, okay, or maybe I will just mask some things bake let's see yeah. so we had this cube here you can see how just putting uh, one cube that is illuminated into a scene uh, it can uh, change completely how her eyes look and right now you will see a reflection in her eyes. And this is completely different feeling. It works much better. And you can change even, uh, like, okay, we can change even the scale of this object or, 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 or I don't know, uh, um, a way form of this object and it changes so if you look for example a photo that I was given here 
you will notice that her eyes have this circular donut shape and this was uh, from a, from a light that has a donut shape so if I want to simulate that one I could make uh, I should make a donut shape uh, object here just to generate lighting and then I could even uh, I could even hide it this object so I could say uh, to put it in one uh, like turn off shadows and to put it into a, into 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 a rendering layer mask and say that I, that I don't want to render it at the moment decker view yeah something like that so this thing doesn't work for me at the moment but I will make it. Okay. <laughs> if we just change it. And this is a good thing about uh, real time graphics that you can easily, uh, let's say, try out many. Uh, many settings e without having to do too much rendering real time okay let's see Emma, but I'm not sure why it doesn't render by real time it should be render should be rendering real time but it doesn't <sighs> so yes this is a uh, more or less then if I go here for example into a Let's see here some other oh, my unity is glitching a little bit. For a second, let's wait a second, let's wait a second. Okay, yeah, this was my old actress that I already did. You'll see. And I will have to replace her with this one. So, at the end I will be removing, uh, renaming this actress and, and, and setting up another one. So, uh, let's see here, what I wanted to see, oh yeah, I wanted to see her, her hair, because I don't remember anymore what, what shade, okay, you can see that I'm using here a shader that is uh, more advanced, it works with, uh, with Deckard. And it's a Deckard hair shader, okay, yes. So I will be turning off, yeah, I didn't remember how it, it would go. I will go here to, into a hair. Here, here, here. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see here. The current hair, and this should be giving me some 
some more volumetric effect. So I will have to volume offset to say something like that. No, it's not. 0 0.001. Okay. This will give me some a little bit of blurring onto her hair. So this is a cool thing that I can do with a by that card okay transmittance okay something like that so let's say I can give her her a little bit of this way and give her a little bit of this so I have always to play with the, those values because I don't remember even what they do. But as you can see here right now, it uh, yeah, this is a vector for for reflection that I use here. Something like that. So that it gives me a, a little bit of more volume to a hair. Uh, something like that. Specular tint. Okay, let's see this one. Just, I will just move it a little bit and then normal scale is set to one and this one I will set to two not too much let's see if we set to one yeah and I will have to do the same thing for the other for this other another material so that I lose uh, this kind of uh, the card here okay Something like that. So I'm trying to fix some things here. Zero point zero one. Okay. And this will give me a better shading for here. At least with Deckard. Good thing is that you can make with Deckard, you can make shaders that work w with Deckard and also without it. So it, it actually doesn't import too much. Yeah. Let's see here. Reflection probe, bay, cube, plane. Okay, this isn't what we want. Outer end. Okay, let's see if we crank up this intensity. Yeah, it should look better. And I can move this. Just to create some, yeah, just to see how it behaves. There are some extreme conditions that where it doesn't work, but for example, this one. 
Works pretty well. So. Okay, let's see if we can change the slide size a little bit so that it gives a much smoother appearance to you see it uh, it changes the form of uh, light so in this way I think it's much better. So this just shows you how how much lightning itself is uh, is important. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Yeah, so change this one and set it to yeah something like that You always have to remember that, uh, that the 3D animation is a faking, so it's... <laughs> it's not an exact science. So yes, I think that we are fine for today. Thank you guys from, for being here. I hope that uh, this tutorial was of, of some help for you. And... Uh, I hope uh, that I will be also here tomorrow and that I will uh, conti be continued to, to this live stream. Uh, sorry for any problems that we had today, but my connection went, uh, went down. So... Uh, one of the things that I want to tell you is that if you like this, uh, put a like. If you want to help me to uh, to share, uh, maybe you can do a share this uh, this material with other persons because my intention is always to help and to to spread. 
a world and 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 to uh, to be of help not for one person but for many persons so uh, I hope uh, that you will help me into this thank you very much and see you bye